The temperate forests of Kashmir are a fusion of million colors. A lone brown dipper is negotiating the torrents of the mighty Sindh. And somewhere close by, a female Hangul has sounded a word of caution for the others of its group. Hangul, the state animal of JNK, is still found in fairly large numbers in the Dashigam National Park. This is the season when females form large groups and the rutting or the breeding season has commenced. The winters have finally arrived with full intensity and this is the time when finding food can be fairly tough. Winters are the time of adversity. During these months, the upper reaches of mountains become inaccessible and the Hangul have to compete hard to reach for any food that is available. Not only this, the survival also depends on caution and intelligence. This group of Hangul has very much sensed the presence of a leopard around. Leopard is a major predator which hunts the Hangul for food. The Hangul senses have cautioned it and the fact of survival indicates that it is time for the group to move to a safer area. Dashigam is perhaps the richest of all the forests of Kashmir. This is because of the presence of large number of fruit trees that happen to be a favorite with the Himalayan black bear, which, like other places of Kashmir, thrives very well in Dashigam. Very different from the brown bear, the black bear is omnivorous. At this time of the year, as through all the summer, the bears are busy looking for food. Black bears consume enormous quantities of food every day. This would help them in building several layers of fat, which the bears will use during the extended period of sleep in the winters. Bears normally have a very bad sense of sight and hearing, but they have a very strong sense of smell. Although essentially nocturnal, the black bears of Dashigam are relatively active during the daytime, a phenomenon which is typical to this place. On one hand, the forests of Kashmir are relatively quiet, but on the other, they are also a hub of a unique activity. A group of jackals is out on its daily walk. They are looking for food. No other place on this earth can speak of such vivid diversity of colors. And these colors definitely attract more colors. This butterfly, aptly named the leopard, is busy collecting nectar. And if one tries, we have to tread very cautiously in the thick cover of grass as it doesn't hold just the butterflies. In these forests, at least two species of poisonous snakes, like the viper, are found. But all this activity doesn't seem to bother this group of langurs, who are busy grooming each other. 
langur is the major primate which lives in the forests of Kashmir. These primates are easily alarmed and they serve as watchmen to all other animals of the forest. The valley of Kashmir is perhaps best known for its wetlands. A lone kingfisher trying to size up its meal is but a common sight in our backyards. The bird species are fairly well represented. While many of them are resident, many others like the whiskered terns migrate every summer to our lakes and wetlands with a single-minded approach to breed and reproduce. The whiskered terns are strong flyers. The tern chicks grow fast on their essentially protein diet and within a period of two weeks they are ready to test their wings and fly back to the plains. As the winter arrives, the wetlands like Hockerser and Shalabug become a scene of a different spectacle. Every fall, thousands of migratory birds arrive from various parts of Central Asia. In the Shalabug wetland, the grey leg geese with their typical sounds and flight formations are an interesting sight to watch. But so are the large groups of teals and pintails. Amongst the various species that overwinter in the Kashmir wetlands, the mallard even breeds here in fairly large numbers. The domestic tuck is thought to have evolved from the mallets. Apart from the mallet, the coots also breed in our wetlands in fairly large numbers. While coots are a fairly common sight, in the last few years, birds such as the greylag have become slightly rare and restricted. <laughs> 